Our first guest is the author of Superfood, 150 Recipes for Eternal Youth. And today, she's joining us from her kitchen right outside New York City to make fully loaded bell pepper nachos. Look at those, oh my goodness. Please say hello to Joy <laughs> Bauer. Hey, Joy. Hey, hey, Cameron. It's so great to be with you. Are you ready to cook? Oh my goodness, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to cook. I'm so ready to learn from you as well because you got great ideas. I mean, here's the deal, Joy. Most people don't think nachos fit in uh, when it comes to eating healthy. So how do you approach snacking in general? Give us some general tips. Snacking should be easy. Snacking has got to be delicious. And ideally, it needs to be healthy as well. So like my whole mission is to take all of the foods that we love and crave, think chips and cookies and cakes and nachos and slushies and i reimagine the ingredients so that they're loaded with the good stuff vitamins minerals antioxidants and fiber so that we could feel good about eating these things every single day and we're going to make loaded nachos with a little bit of a twist if yeah, you're ready for me. Yeah, we are. Instead <laughs> of using chips, we're using vegetables today. All right, we're using some peppers, aren't we? Right. Right, so what I'm doing, I have the sweeter varieties of bell peppers, yep. and I'm just cutting them into quarters, and they're gonna become our chips instead of a starchy, greasy bottom. And I'm, I'm having about, I, I took about six large ones because we wanna make a great big platter, because I'm telling you, Cameron, these are gonna get gobbled up. I have tested these with macho guys at Super Bowl parties, yeah. and they love them. <laughs> they love them. It's like, Low carb love. And the nice part also is these are nachos that can help steady your blood sugars. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying them down on my baking sheet. Yep. And the cool thing about bell peppers, they're packed with vitamin C. So if you have a serving of these bell pepper nachos, you get more than 200% of your daily value of vitamin C, which is a strong immune strengthener, and we could all use Absolutely. that right Absolutely, because these are fantastic. So let's start with the, uh, the meat, the uh, protein, and the toppings that we're gonna do. Right. So what kind of meat do we have here? So I, what I have here is um, a lean ground turkey meat. What I've done is I just cooked it up on the skillet, and yep. it's nice and brown. Now we're gonna season it up. So I'm adding a little bit of water. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm then going to be adding a taco seasoning packet. After we flavor this up and it's gonna be um, you know, warmed through, we are going to pack it in with all sorts of nutritious goodies. Beautiful. So first I'm adding in, this is three quarter cup of uh, black beans. I just use canned black beans and I drain them. And when you rinse them under a colander, you get rid of a lot of the sodium. So that's great. Now Excellent. in true Tex-Mex form, I'm adding in some corn and I like jalapenos. I don't know about you, but I'm all about the spice. So I'm gonna add in some jalapenos as well. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna mix this up. It's like a party in the skillet, right? You see all those flavors and colors. So now, when you've got this all done in the skillet, um, you start to just kind of spoon it on top of the, uh, the peppers that you've already cut into quarters. Is that the idea? That's exactly right. So I'm bringing my peppers back, and now you're just gonna spoon this into all of your little pepper cups or pepper chips, we'll call them. And don't worry if it gets a little bit messy because you know <laughs> everything's gonna get eaten. I'm not worried. Right <laughs> if, if you saw my pan right now, you, you know that I'm not worried about making it a little messy. I'm all good with that. <laughs> I'm glad. So the, uh, what I, I preheated the oven to 375. Yep. And if you could imagine, these be done in about 10 minutes. But before we put them in, I'm gonna add on my cheese. The other thing to know is this is entirely customizable. So if you know that you have vegetarians coming, you know, as guests, what you could basically do is skip the cheese. If, if you have, um, you could skip the meat and you could just do beans and lentils sure. and corn. So like there's all sorts of different variations that you could do on this. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven now. Yeah. Set at 375 for 10 minutes, and I'm going to show you what my beauty looks like because I think you're going to love it. Hold on. I got one that I just pulled out of the oven over here. And ta-da! Amazing. I've got some yummy ones, too. I'm going to garnish with a little sour cream and some salsa. And while I do that, I know you've got a really tasty and healthy drink that you can whip up in a flash. Tell me about it. 
And look at you. And I, I actually am add, adding a little bit of cilantro and scallions as well. And really, you can, everybody, you are the boss of your nachos. So you can put anything that you want on top of them. So when it comes to my slushy, guys, this is a two ingredient slushy with no sugar. And it's packed with antioxidants and fiber. And you will think that you are, you know, sipping a slushy from the boardwalk. So all I'm doing here in the blender, I put in, this is um, two cups of frozen mixed berries, or you could do cherries. And then I mix in some frozen pineapple. And the key is you want to use a flavored sparkling water. So I have a LaCroix a black raspberry and you whirl this up and you, Cameron, I hope you have one in front of you to sip because this is what it comes out looking like. It is so thick and flushy. Oh, mm. Mm. yummy. And you could even eat it like sorbet. Look how you good can. that is. Yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna use my lime here. Oh my God, it's so great. And I love there's no it's, added sugar <laughs> just from the from the fruits. Nothing. Um, do me one favor. Just take one little small step to your right. Just a little right to, there we go. In the background, we can see the home and family logo up on your TV. I had to point that out. That's amazing, Joy. This is all great. Knocked out of the park. I can't wait to see you again. And congrats on the new show. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Here's to you. Good health and delicious food. Cheers to you, Joy. Uh, as always, everybody, the full recipe is going to be on hallmarkchannel.com. Check it out there. And for more from Joy, visit her website, which is right there below. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be eating well today.